So you're thinking about potentially making a move to here in Santa Rosa, California. Well, after living here for nearly 20 years, I wanna share seven things that you may have not heard to help you in your next decision to move. If Santa Rosa has it all been on your radar as a potential place that you are considering moving, you probably heard about issues in regards to homelessness, crime, the size of Santa Rosa, and fire concerns. Well, here are a few things that they haven't told you about living here in Santa Rosa. I grew up in Petaluma, California, about 20 minutes south of Santa Rosa. And after graduating Sonoma State University, Santa Rosa was one of the places that I was considering moving. However, I had one concept of what Santa Rosa was gonna be like in my experience has been quite a bit different. I wanna share that with you today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michael Furl and I am the owner of the High Rith Homes Real Estate Team. We are one of the top teams here in Sonoma County and have sold hundreds of homes throughout the area. If you are thinking about potentially moving to Sonoma County or just want more information about your next real estate move, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that way you can make a more informed decision on your next move. First of all, if you are unfamiliar with Santa Rosa, it's a city located about an hour north from San Francisco and is considered to be part of the heart of wine country. It has a population of around 170,000 individuals, which makes it the largest city in Sonoma County. It's also centrally located about equal distance between Healdsburg and Petaluma. Walla Hub also rated Santa Rosa number 39 out of 182 safest cities to live in throughout the entire United States. One of the first things I wanna share with you guys about living in Santa Rosa for nearly 20 years is how convenient the location is. Santa Rosa has its own airport and it's grown significantly over the last few years, offering direct flights to Las Vegas, LA, San Diego, Dallas, Portland, Seattle, and there's nothing better after taking a long trip to take a five minute drive back from the airport to your home compared with having to take an hour drive all the way back from Oakland or San Francisco. Additionally, Santa Rosa is located only 20 minutes from Hillsburg, which we love to visit for all the incredible food and wine that they have available up there. And then we can drive south 20 minutes and get to Petaluma where I grew up and visit great restaurants like Cucina Paradiso or check out the theater district, which we love to visit. And if we are feeling like we want to, uh, to get a little bit more of the city life, we can drive an hour south to San Francisco, which is also super convenient. And because Santa Rosa is the largest city in Sonoma County, it also has some of the best shopping available. All the big box retailers are here, so you can save on your bulk purchases. At Costco, there's two Targets, Walmart, there is also a Home Depot in the area, but also there's uh, some great local shopping over at Montgomery Village. Um, we love to go shopping at Oliver's Market for our local produce. And there's also two malls, uh, Santa Rosa Plaza and Cottingtown Mall as well. So a lot of options there. In addition, Santa Rosa has some of the best health services available in the entire county. And so there's uh, actually three hospitals. There's Santa Rosa Memorial Hospital, Kaiser, and Sutter are all based here and has some of the best health services in the entire North Bay. Secondly, one of the things we discovered moving to Santa Rosa is how much better the weather is. Santa Rosa averages 256 sunny days per year. Growing up in Petaluma, it was always significantly cooler and always got windy right around 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon. And in the summer months in Petaluma, we used to get what's called locally as the Sonoma aroma, which is an unpleasant smell from local dairy farms. In Santa Rosa, it's a nice middle ground, kind of the Goldilocks as far as temperatures. It's sunny, but not too hot compared with some of the locations as you head north, such as Healdsburg or Cloverdale. There's no snow here, pretty average rainfall. And for a lot of the year, we get the marine layer that creeps in at nighttime, which helps cool things down and makes it a much more pleasant experience uh, when you're trying to go to sleep. And so I know everybody complains about uh, California home prices, but we have to remember why that is in the climate here, it makes it one of the best places to live in the entire world. One of the things that my wife and I didn't appreciate about Santa Rosa is until we got older and had kids is how amazing the school districts are here. Santa Rosa has a long list of options between private, public, and charter school options. Um, some of the top schools are gonna be located primarily on the east side of Santa Rosa. Some of the school districts, uh, as far as public schools, are Mark West Union, um, Bennett Valley, and Rincon Valley School District. Our son actually briefly went to Austin Creek Elementary, which is considered one of the top 
public schools in the entire county. We had a great experience over there. If private schools is your thing, uh, there's Sonoma County Day School, Cardinal Newman, and also Sonoma Academy High School, which is something like 40 or $50,000 a year, absolutely crazy. But if that's something that you're interested in, Santa Rosa does offer that. Now, Santa Rosa also has the, a junior college, which has over a hundred different majors and 150 uh, different certificate programs available. And it has uh, received a lot of national and local awards uh, for their education program is, uh, there as well. So we're really grateful for all of the uh, options that we have as parents for our kids in the education system. Some of the top parks that we love to check out is Howarth Park. Um, it's a wonderful location for families. Uh, we've done a number of birthday events out there. They have a train, there is a petting zoo, they have a huge playground for the kids. And so it's a really fun, safe location that we, we love to go there and play with our kids uh, on the weekends. And right next to that is Spring Lake Park, which is over 320 acres wonderful location you can go fishing you can go horseback riding uh mountain biking um it really offers a little bit of everything in it right near our house uh, we love to go to taylor mountain regional park which is over a thousand acres and has some of the uh, most incredible views in all of santa rosa so those are a few of the top locations that we love to visit uh here locally in santa rosa one of the other benefits of santa rosa's size beyond just the parks is that there is simply more to do and there's a bit of variety for all ages. For families, you can go to the epicenter, which they have laser tag, they have uh, bowling, they have an indoor soccer field. Um, there's also the Children Museum for young kids. And for adults, there's Russian River Brewing Company, there's St. Francis Winery. Um, there's also some incredible shows at the Luther Burbank Center. They have comedy shows and uh, musical performance over there. And so whatever age you are and whatever you're interested in, you can probably find it here in Santa Rosa. And that's one of the reasons that we really love this location. One of the things that we didn't really consider before moving to Santa Rosa is the people. And after living here for nearly 20 years, we have made not only some incredible friends in our own neighborhood, but also within the city of Santa Rosa. A lot of the individuals here have similar values. The average age is about 42 years of age, which is perfect for us because we're in our late 30s, so we can connect and resonate with a lot of other families that have kids and are experiencing a lot of similar things. However, if you are maybe a little bit older, over the age of 55, and want to be close to individuals in your age group, there is Oakmont, Proctor Terrace, uh, Terra Linda, um, tend to be more weighted in that 55 plus as far as the average demographics. And so no matter where you are in life, Santa Rosa really has a little bit of everything for everybody. And lastly, one of the things that we really appreciate about Santa Rosa is the value, especially when compared with some of the nearby cities such as Healdsburg, Sebastopol, Sonoma, or Petaluma. Sebastopol, for example, has an average price point over a million dollars. That same house in Santa Rosa can be significantly less. The average price point in Santa Rosa is approximately $750,000 today. And so it is more centrally located and you're gonna get more bang for your buck in Santa Rosa compared with some of the nearby areas, whether you're looking to purchase or rent, your dollar is simply gonna stretch further. And that's one of the last things that we really appreciated about living here in Santa Rosa. So if you are thinking about making a move to Sonoma County or within Sonoma County, make sure that Santa Rosa is on your list. It is a great location to raise a family. The schools here are fantastic. There are a lot of outdoor activities, fantastic shopping. The people People are wonderful and ultimately you're gonna get more bang for your buck than most other cities within Sonoma County. So if you're looking to make a move, make sure that Santa Rosa is on your list. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can stay tuned on our next video that discusses the things that we don't like about living here in Santa Rosa. I would also love to hear your comments below about the things that you like and don't like about living in Santa Rosa. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.